Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nusa Ipiana and I am from Far by Dewi. Okay, in this video, I will guide you in AdMath for Form 4 KSSM student in chapter 2 about the quadratic function. There are so many uses of quadratic function in real life. For example, to calculate the surface area. With the help of quadratic function, architects can find the area of the room or building size before making any construction plans. Quadratic function can also be used in sport. Quadratic equations also highly useful in athletic events that involve throwing objects like basketball or javelin. I will not teach about the world chapter, but I will start with making a relationship between the vertex forms of quadratic function with the other forms of quadratic function. Before that, you need to know these three types of quadratic forms. Intercept forms, vertex forms, and general forms. Actually, in this lesson, we will focus on how to find the coordinate for the vertex of the graph or we call it as maximum or minimum point. How to find the coordinate for the vertex of the graph using the vertex forms? For the vertex forms, we need to find out the h and k value to find the coordinate of the vertex of the graph. h value represent the y co uh, the x coordinate, sorry, and the k value represent the y coordinate. So, let's look at this example equation. Okay. The x value, the x coordinate is 2. And the y coordinate is negative 9. So, this is the, uh, the coordinate for the vertex of the graph. What about the general form? Okay, this is the example for general forms to find the coordinate for the uh, vertex of the graph. We need to use this formula, negative b per 2a. And then to find the y coordinate, you just have to substitute this value into, the, uh, into this equation. For example, okay, negative 8 per 2 times times 2. Okay, so we get negative 2 for x coordinate and then substitute this value into this equation. Okay, 2 times negative 2 squared plus 8 times negative 2 minus 10 and then we will get negative 18. So, the coordinate for the vertex of the graph is negative 2 Negative 18. Okay, lastly, we will look at these intercept forms. Okay. Um, to find the x coordinate, we need to use this formula. P plus Q per 2. And then, just same like uh, general forms, we need to substitute this value into this equation to find the y coordinate. Okay, for example, we will use this equation. Okay, P is negative 8 and Q is, neg uh, Q is 4, sorry, plus 4 per 2. Right, two so we get negative 2 for the x coordinate. Then substitute negative 2 into this equation. Negative 2 plus 8. Negative 2 minus 4. Okay. So we will get negative 32 for the y coordinate. And then the answer for the 
coordinate for the vertex of the graph is negative 2, negative 32. The conclusion is to find the coordinates of the maximum or minimum points via vertex form is easier than via the other forms. Next, we will learn on how to express quadratic function in vertex form to general forms and intercept form or vice versa using this method. Express quadratic function in the general form and intercept form. So, the quadratic function given in the form of vertex form. Okay. Before you answer this question, please uh, please highlight the keyword. Okay. The keyword in this question is in the express in the general form form and intercept forms so to do this question you need to follow this method to convert from this vertex form into general form we need to do expansion method so expand this first Get 2x squared plus 9 per 2, x plus 81 per 16 minus 1 per 8. Solve this equation until it becomes general equation like this. 2x squared plus 9x minus 10. Okay, after we get this general equation, we need to convert into the intercept forms using formula or factorization method. So, you need to make sure the coefficient of the x is positive 1 to form intercept forms like this. Sorry. Okay, okay so... This is the answer for intercept form. We will get this for general form and this one for intercept form. Okay, so the next question is express this quadratic equation into general form and vertex forms. Before we answer this question, we need to find the keywords. So, the keyword is general forms and vertex forms. Okay, so to do this question, you need to use this method. Okay, to do this question, first we need to convert this intercept form to general forms. Using the expansion method. It will become 2x squared minus 2x plus 4x minus 8. And then solve this equation properly. 2x squared this is negative 2 a for uh, 2 x x minus 16 so you will got this 
for the first answer. Okay, after that, uh, convert this general form into vertex form by completing the square method. Okay. To do the completing the square method, first we need to make sure the x coefficient x square coefficient is positive one. So factorize this. like this okay okay after that you need to add and subtract the coefficient of x this one coefficient of x per two square right after the second terms in the quadratic equation okay next solve this equation like this okay for this you need to solve uh, like usual negative 2 per 2 squared minus 8 and for this one you need to factorize you need to do factorization so you will get this for the last answer in the form of vertex forms 2 x plus 1 minus 9 Okay, that is all from me. Thank you for watching this video.
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.